Whether or not you're already an Easy Drummer or Superior Drummer user, you should be happy to know that BeatStation is compatible with EZX and SDX expansion sets. I mean, now you've got a buffet of world-class percussive tones and MIDI grooves at your fingertips. So along with BeatStation, I've also got Superior Drummer and Easy Drummer. Now, besides their default sound libraries, I've also got the incredible custom and vintage SDX for Superior Drummer and the Twisted Kit EZX for Easy Drummer. So if you have any expansion sets, they'll show up in folders in the browser pane. So right here from the browser, I'll load up the Twisted Kit Super Classic and take a quick listen. So using an EZX in BeatStation is just as easy as using any of the default BeatStation instruments. Okay, now let's add a bass sound from BeatStation to play along with this Twisted Kit. I'll throw on this sub patch to maintain the industrial tone we've got going. Alright, let's try out a totally different flavor with the custom and vintage SDX. I'll load up this super rare Noble and Cooley set. This will load up the close mic sample sets for the awesome Noble and Cooley Star Series snare, the 18 by 22 inch Noble and Cooley kick, Zildjian hats, toms, and the rest of the kit. Note that BeatStation does not offer the same extremely detailed control over ambient microphone channels and bleed levels as does Superior Drummer. That is, when I load an instrument from the custom and vintage SDX onto a pad in BeatStation, that pad will typically play only the close mic samples. I mean, the sound is great and still very tweakable, just in a different way. For example, just like with the default BeatStation sounds, I can mix, match, and stack sounds from SDXs and EZXs onto pads. Here, I'll show you by transforming this vintage beat into a house hybrid using some sounds from BeatStation's default library and others from the Twisted Kit EZX. So let me pull up a bass sound. I'm going to use a Fender. Also going to throw on a Rhodes. I'm going to bit crush this. Dial in some delay. Now the drums sound a little soft. I kind of want to give them some toughness by layering kick samples from the Twisted Kit. Here I'll use this distorted super classic. For the snare I'm going to use this kind of odd roto. And I'll throw an effect across the drum bus. Okay, this has been a quick example of how you can combine sounds from SDXs and EZXs that you might own with BeatStation's default sounds to create really interesting hybrids.